Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the uh, meeting for the Longmont Urban Renewal Authority Board of the Commissioners. So, um, let's do roll call. Oh, absolutely. Before yes. we do roll call, mm -hmm. I need to introduce our members that are up here with us. We have at the end here uh, Jim Berthold, who is a school district representative and a board member for uh, St. Mary SPVSD. And on this end, we have Wes Parker. He's also, uh, he's an LDDA board member um, for the LDDA Special District. Thank you. Uh, roll call. Uh, Chairperson Peck. Present. Commissioner Berth Berthold. Commissioner Hidalgo Faring. Present. Commissioner Beam is absent. Uh, Commissioner Martin. Here. Commissioner Parker. Here. Commissioner Rodriguez. Here. Commissioner Waters. Here. Commissioner Yarbrough. Here. Chairperson Peck, you have a quorum. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, before we get started, I would like to call on uh, Tony Chacon to uh, give us an update just so that we all know what's going on a little bit. I'm sure that the board members do, but for council to give us an update on this. Uh, thank you, uh, Chairman, or sorry, Chairperson <laughs> Peck. <laughs> um, so some of you may be questioning uh, the additional members to the Urban Renewal Authority Board. And as you may re recollect, council took action a couple of months back where they reconstituted the board to bring it in alignment with state statutes. And the state statutes required that one person representing schools, one person res representing the counties, and another person representing special districts be appointed by those uh, respective parties. So with that, uh, we do have the three persons uh, representing schools, appointed, representing special districts appointed, and then the, also the county, and unfortunately the county rep could not make it with us or be with us this evening. Um, pend, just advisement that pending the elect, upcoming election, you will, the board will then have 10 members uh, that are currently appointed. And with that, we will be coming back to the mayor and the council for the appointment of one additional individual because the state statutes require that we have an, un an uneven number of uh, appointees as part of the lower board. So if you have any questions, I'd be glad to answer them, but uh, just want to kind of give you an, a heads up of how we had this meeting earlier tonight, and that was to accommodate the new parties in part. Thank right. you. Thank you for that update. Uh, there are two topics to be discussed tonight on this agenda, and uh, basically the resolutions. So uh, I will read them, and then we'll have a discussion and a vote, uh, a motion and a vote. So the first one is R. Laura 2022-01. It's a resolution of the Board of Commissioners of the Longmont Urban Renewal Authority enacting a supplemental budget and making an additional appropriation for the expenses and liabilities of the authority for the fiscal year beginning January 1st, 2022. Do we have any uh, comments from counselors or board members? No. no. Okay, can I have a motion then for? Okay, that has been moved by Councillor Waters and, are we commissioners up here? Okay, Commissioner Waters and seconded by Commissioner Hidalgo Faring. Let's vote. Uh, let's have a hand vote. All those in favor? All those opposed? It looks like that passes unanimously. The second one is Laura 2022-02 a resolution of the Board of Commissioners of the Longmont Urban Renewal Authority adopting the annual budget for the authority for the fiscal year 2023. Do we have any comments or questions from the board? Seeing none, I'll ask for a motion to pass this resolution. <laughs> Thank you. All right, that has been moved by Commissioner Waters, seconded by Commissioner Martin. All those in favor, raise your hand. All those opposed. So that passes unanimously. 
Those are the only two items we have on this agenda. So uh, let's have a motion to adjourn. So moved. <laughs> we are adjourned. Thank you. Mm -hmm.